spaghetti bolognese, a British take on the Italian ragu from Bologna. Um, and it's all about the umami here for me. Slow motion blitz of mushrooms. Beautiful. Um, I put mushrooms in my mirepoix because uh, they're just going to give it an even meatier taste. I also blitz all the vegetables because I don't want them to be as invisible as possible. So it just looks like meaty, meaty ragu. That's celery salt, just in lieu of the of buying a load of celery. And some anchovy paste, brilliant thing for extra umami. In with the vegetables. And there's some bay leaves, some star anise, and some garlic. And that's Liam Perrin's Worcestershire sauce and a little bit of Tabasco, just a few drops. The Worcestershire sauce is just a great British product, which will give massive umami kick. Fermented anchovies, fermented onions, vinegar is just brilliant. Very hot pan. I brown off the mint in three stages. It's a kilo of mince. Don't overcrowd the pan and get that mince really, really brown. I break my whisk there. This is a tip I got off Gennaro Contaldo, brilliant Italian chef. He breaks up his mince with a whisk and that works really well. You just sort of prod it a bit. And then I deglaze the pan with some white wine. Get all of that little bits off the bottom in it. And uh, what's happening now? Oh, a jar of tomatoes, whole peeled tomatoes, Italian. Way better than buying fresh supermarket ones, which are just shit. Uh, chop them up with a steak knife in the can. And then I rinse out the can with some water. And, oh, milk. Milk. Too few people... Do not put milk into their ragu. You must. When that reduces down, those milk solids will just be, create so much meaty flavour. Those are some uh, cheese rinds, Parmesan cheese rinds, which I keep in my freezer. Powdered chicken stock, I don't have a problem with that. Uh, but those cheese rinds are like little Parmesan tea bags. Brilliant. Bit of pepper there. Uh, added, added a bit more water. And now look, look, boom, five hours. Where's it all gone? I had a tiny bit of ketchup, just like a teaspoon, a little bit of vinegar and some butter. Butter, you know, from the Emilia-Romagna region where Bologna is, that's just key. And then here's this wanky plating. I'd never do this if this wasn't a cookery video. You just splat that shit on there. Put a bit of butter through your pasta so it doesn't stick together. Because, you know, this is very British. The Italians would never just have the dry pasta like that. They would mix it in. There we go. Thank you so much. Bye.